Hi guys, Blackbox here. In this video I'll explain all about the flight envelope protection of the A320. The implementation of the fly-by-wire system in the A320 made it possible to produce this uh, flight envelope protection system. When all systems are working and the Airbus is in its so-called normal law, several different protection modes will keep the Airbus flying within its designed flight envelope. Simply said, even when the pilot is flying manually, he is unable to bring the aircraft outside of its designed envelope. In the next couple of minutes, I'll be going through the different protection modes and demonstrate to you how the flight control computers make sure that the aircraft doesn't enter an uncontrolled state. So let's jump into the cockpit and have a look at the primary flight display. Here you can immediately see that the aircraft is in the normal law by the green double dashes on the bank and pitch scale. The normal law covers the flight envelope protection and the load alleviation function. The normal law is divided into three phases, the ground mode, the flight mode and the flare mode. Now, as the name says, the ground mode is active on the ground and uh, this remains active until shortly after liftoff, approximately 5 seconds. In the ground mode, there is a direct and proportional relationship between side stick inputs and control surface deflections, just as you would find in a conventional aircraft. Also in ground mode, the trimmable horizontal stabilizer is only manually controllable. However, a small exception is when the aircraft enters the ground mode again after touchdown. There, the trimmable horizontal stabilizer is automatically reset to zero. The flare mode becomes slowly active when the aircraft descends through 50 feet radio altitude during landing. Here, the system freezes the trimmable horizontal stabilizer and memorizes the pitch attitude which then becomes the initial reference for pitch attitude control. As the aircraft then descends through 30 feet radio altimeter, the system begins to reduce the pitch attitude to minus 2 degrees over a period of 8 seconds. This means that the pilot has to induce a nose up stick input in order to flare the aircraft. This simulates the behavior of conventional aircraft where the reduction in thrust and uh, airspeed also means that the pilot has to induce a pitch up input. As you can see the ground mode and flare mode are pretty simple modes. Now obviously the flight mode lies in between the ground and the flare mode. The flare mode is uh, pretty interesting since it has a lot of protection modes. These protection modes make sure that the aircraft stays within a certified flight envelope. And this is what makes the Airbus so unique compared to other conventional aircraft. So let me now demonstrate to you the different protection modes. I'll start off with the load factor limitation. You can monitor the G-load just above the time indication on the engine warning display. So first off, I'm going to apply a full aft side stick input. So you can see no matter how fast the aircraft is going and no matter how hard I pull the stick back, the G-load will not go above 2.5G. Also, when I push the stick full forward, the aircraft will remain above minus 1G. Now, incidentally, when you have 67 degrees of bank, you have to pull 2.5G to maintain level flight. Okay, next up is the bank angle protection. Now, this is fairly simple. Even with a full left side stick deflection all of the time, the aircraft will not go above 67 degrees of bank. Same applies obviously if you're doing a right hand uh, turn, full right stick input, maintaining the input 
and the aircraft maintains a maximum bank angle of 67 degrees. It will not go beyond that. Now, if you put the side stick to the neutral position, the flight control computers will automatically reduce the bank to 33 degrees and maintain that bank. Next up is the pitch attitude protection. Now I'm implying full aft stick input. The pitch, however, will not go beyond 30 degrees of pitch up. The same goes for full stick down input. The pitch will not go below minus 15 degrees of nose down. Next up, I'll demonstrate the high angle of attack protection. As the airspeed decreases into the alpha prot area, that is the black and amber striped uh, area, the stick inputs are no longer load factor demand inputs, but so-called angle of attack inputs. When a certain angle of attack is reached, the auto thrust will command alpha floor automatically and uh, toga power is set. As you can see, with full aft side stick input, the airspeed will not go below the maximum alpha airspeed. That is indicated by the top of the red strip area. Now, the very neat feature about this is that you can get the maximum climb performance by pulling the stick full aft, and you don't have to watch the airspeed the flight control computers will do that for you. This will of course work at any altitude within the normal flight envelope area. Now let's have a look at the high speed protection mode. As we approach VMO, the autopilot will disengage automatically and the flight control computers will induce a pitch up load factor demand. And as long as the airspeed is above VMO, stick inputs are ignored. Here I'm using full down stick input and you can see the flight control computers will still pitch up the aircraft to get the airspeed below VMO. So the last mode I need to show you is the low energy warning which is available in config 2, 3 or full and when the radio altitude is between plus 100 and uh, 2000 feet. So when the airspeed gets too low, you'll hear speed, speed, speed. And that's the low energy warning. So that's it guys. Now you know a lot about the normal law and the flight envelope protection so I'm sure you'll agree it's uh, quite impressive what the Airbus A320 has to offer to make a flight as safe as possible. As a summary, you can say that in normal law and manual flight, the flight control computers will prevent the pilot from leaving the designed flight envelope. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I also hope that you found this topic interesting. I promise you there's more videos coming on this channel. Until then, happy landings!